I found out some pretty major shit. There's proof. There's a lot to take in in Sausage Party. You would have been forgiven for not noticing every single gory detail in the film. We've got you covered with 16 Easter eggs and details you missed. No, no, I, don't worry, I got it this time. This time it's gonna be good. Number one, Sausage Party is the scum-covered mirror held up to an animated market filled with Pixar offerings. Pixar often delightfully animates inanimate objects, giving them their own breathing world. Sausage Party goes so far as to call out the studio by name, including a Dixar bumper sticker, complete with an A113 license plate, which Pixar loves to sneak into its own films. They also have a character controlling another character a la Ratatouille with this crude parody. Number two, how do you define sausage? That actually doesn't matter too much because the world is about facts, not opinions. And while the film is in fact called Sausage Party, there are actually no sausages in the film. What? Frank is a hot dog. His buddies are also hot dogs. So maybe the title is alluding to some other definition of Sausage Party. We leave that for you to figure out. Number three, has there ever been a comedy film that didn't reference horror in some way? While the film is filled to the brim with parodies of famous films, the one we're talking about specifically here is Aliens. The scene where a woman sticks the knife straight through Carl is a direct reference to Aliens, where the robot character shares the same fate as this hot dog, though it's a lot less delicious. Number four, Titanic parodies have become so common they're a joke in of themselves. But that doesn't stop Sausage Party as the film is famously lowbrow in its humor. The scene of Honey Mustard throwing his arms back while leaving the store is a reference to Titanic's famous King of the World scene. Number five, a movie this dumb had to parody someone brilliant just to keep up appearances. The character Gum might have looked familiar to astrophysicist lovers, as the character looks an awful lot like real life scientist Stephen Hawking. Complete with trademark glasses and his speaking through a robotic sounding device, Gum also says he comes from being stuck under the desk of a brilliant scientist. Wonder who that could be? Number six, this joke sometimes gets lost in translation. A lot of audience members miss the fact that the whole film takes place on the 4th of July, a seemingly average date for anyone who is not American. But for anyone in the United States, the 4th of July is the date they celebrate their independence from Great Britain. How do they celebrate this occasion? By scaring everyone's dogs with fireworks. Sorry, Lassie. Number seven, there's something so funny about food sharing the same horrific fate as soldiers fighting for their country, right? Well, regardless of your comedic tastes, Sausage Party contains a scene of all the pandemonium following a bunch of food products falling to the ground after a cart collision. The screaming and running around is actually a recreation of the famous opening scene from Saving Private Ryan, where humans do the same on the beaches of Normandy. Number eight, we would never censor you, but the MPAA might. Film creator Seth Rogen expected the film not to fare well with the MPAA, the Motion Picture Association of America, which decides the age rating for released films. So he purposely submitted a much worse version of the film and took their notes to get his desired version at a marketable age rating for the adult-oriented film. But apparently they didn't have as many issues as Seth had imagined. But how? Maybe because the nudity is just foodity. Number nine, this joke might have been missed by most people who didn't see that one episode of Family Guy. Twink the Twinkie is one of the non-perishables with Mr. Grits and Firewater. We the non-perishables. This is based on the urban legend that Twinkies never go bad. In reality, Twinkies have a 45 day shelf life, so you could eat them after 45 days, but results may vary. We don't recommend it. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> Number 10, while you recognize the voice, here's a little funny fact about Teresa Del Taco. The character is voiced by Hollywood star Salma Hayek, who stated this is one of the most raunchy films she ever starred in. According to one of Sausage Party's producers, Selma actually improvised her character Teresa Del Taco's infamous line, once you go taco, you never go baco. So while this role was raunchy for her standards, she was well prepared. Number 11, this next Easter egg is only for the most observant and hardcore fans of both this film and The Big Lebowski. The can of beer on the character Druggie's coffee table is a Canadian lager called Log Jammin'. This name will be unfamiliar to everyone except Lebowski heads. 
as Log Jammin' is the name of the adult film within a film from The Big Lebowski, which came out in 1998. And that's not just like, our opinion, man. Number 12. The action this film is known for is not the action you'd find in, say, a Terminator film. Regardless, the movie does contain a parody of a cool scene from Terminator 2. In an almost identical scene, the previously mentioned character Gum reforms after getting shot in his quote-unquote face, just like the T-1000 does in an ode to Terminator 2. Also, Gum apparently has a face. Number 13. Some actors just continue to land the roles they always dreamed of playing. The voice actor for the character Douche, Nick Kroll, happens to play a character named The Douche on the TV series Parks and Recreation. Cause the douche is in the building. What's up, lady? That's just his character name, though, as he actually plays a human character in the show who hosts an annoying radio show. Fun fact, Nick apparently wore a loose-fitting tank top while recording his lines for Sausage Party to get into a douchey mood. You're welcome. Number 14. Sausage Party seems like the kind of film one would make if they hated any kind of rules. The film's creator, Seth Rogen, is certainly one to be very loose about logic or facts when comedy is the most important part. On that note, audiences often ask questions about how the food became self-aware. Seth Rogen has stated in an interview he doesn't know how the rules of food coming to life work, and just states that it probably happens the moment they get put on the store shelves. Seems like a sort of shut up and watch the movie answer to us, and we'll take it. Number 15. Thank you, toilet paper. We will never forget your brave sacrifice. Audiences watching the film are usually so focused on the toilet paper character in this scene that they do not notice the horror in the background. While TP alludes to Druggy doing something they don't want to know to him. What did he do to you? You don't want to f no. Look at the roll next to the toilet in the background. Looks like TP's old colleague has been spent already. And the act done to TP happened to a previous roll of toilet paper in Druggy's house. I promise I'll never eat food again. I'll just wipe my ass with sticks. Number 16. If you ever wondered why people sometimes snap to intimidate their foes, then you need to take a trip down to the west side of town. The fruits of the film begin their assault by snapping and approaching the humans. This is a reference to West Side Story, where rival gangs approach each other while snapping. We've never been in a real-life gang fight, but we have the feeling this is something strictly found in film and television. So don't try it at home. I'm very conflicted about how I'm supposed to feel watching this. Those were all our favorite Easter eggs and details you missed in Sausage Party. Any you noticed that we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more animated content. And thanks for watching The Things Animated.